Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I am Crash Files, and it's once again time to Crash Scars with another episode of Reacting to Skytubers. And you may notice, hmm, that's a, that's a different name you got down there. Well, I've decided to change the series. As you can see on the t on the screen right now, the Reacting to Skytubers series is right here, but um, it's actually going to be renamed to Crash Reacts because, as you guys pointed out in last week's episode, the person I reacted to wasn't even a Skytuber. And I decided instead of going to Skytubers' channels and watching their videos, I'm just going to watch people who do Skylander videos. So that's a quick reaction changing to this video. Uh, it's just going to be... It's just going to be changing the name of it to Crash Reacts, and it's just going to be me reacting to other Skylander videos, not just Skytubers. So, um, yeah, that's the best way to describe it. I won't be reacting to any other videos that aren't Skylanders, so anything like that. So, um, just letting you know that in advance. So, a quick little update for that. Today, however, I'm going to be reacting to something very serious. Now, if you guys may have noticed by the title of this video already, you might notice when you go to certain Skylander videos, you see a certain Skylander video on the side which says, Skylander suck. So I'm going to search Skylander sucks. And it's the first one. It's a guy named Hadox. Why Skylanders is terrible, the Skylander series review. It was one year old, and we're going to see... Look, there's a lot of stuff. Does Imaginators suck? He did a review of Imaginators. Why crashing Skylanders is insulting? Like, look at all these people. A lot of people said they like it. Like, they're hated, sorry. We'll watch some of those later, maybe. But we're going to watch this Haydox video, because this is one of the most popular videos on his channel, for sure. If not one of his, if his most popular video. Okay, so this video was published on June 16th, 2016, so it's over a year ago now. He has 100k subscribers. Shout out to him. Don't mind me, just coming to the comments for some more salts. A lot of people saying stuff. I better grab subscribe to this comment section is hilarious. Skylander burning holes in parents' wallets in 2011. So the thing is, I'm excited about this is because I want to see what his opinions are. I want to go into this with an open mind, being like, I am a Skylander fan, I'm a huge Skylander fan, but I want you guys to watch this too, and I want you guys to react the same way as I do. Not, not, I'm not I don't mean exactly the same, but I mean, I want you guys to take everything he says as a grain of salt, which is nothing. A grain of salt is nothing. So... Go into this video yourself with complete open mind, and in the end, find out what his opinion. It's figure out if you think his opinions are right or wrong. I'll be pausing the video, random parts, discussing it, and all that. So uh, we're gonna look into it there now. Okay, I know I talk a lot about why I despise Skylanders as a business model and series, oh, but because word. of recent events, I think it's finally time to make a cohesive video about where my hatred comes from. What okay. recent events, you ask? Why, the most egregious of them all. Right. On June 1st, 2016... So, warn us in advance, as you saw maybe right at the beginning of that video, he had a little video clip there, and it had a bad word in it. So, this might actually be a, um, like, a bad video for you guys who don't like swearing or anything like that. He may swear, I'm not 100% sure, because I haven't seen this video. So, um, yeah, just warn you guys in advance that this may be a vulgar video. In Activision announced Skylanders Imaginators, Woo! which is going to be the sixth entry in the series in the span of about six years. That's a Skylanders game every single year. Yeah. Now that in and of itself is a problem. Annual releases of the same series is something that tends to bother me because when that happens, most of the time, the developers start taking shortcuts. They start... So, he's saying that, but, like, he's probably one of those people who plays, like, Call of Duty every year. Call of Duty comes out every single year. Okay, we'll continue. Start reusing assets, engines, and so on, making a mockery of what came before it. A lot of the time, annual releases like Call of Duty, for example, are half-assed and made to just capitalize on the success of its predecessors. Okay, I take back what I said. I... I take, fully take back what I just said there then, because I said, I'm like, I don't know, maybe he plays Call of Duty. But he doesn't, and it makes sense, because Call of Duty does release pretty much the same cookie-cutter game every year. But uh, the new one looks pretty promising, so... 
The common business model seems to be to keep the hype train rolling so you can rake in as much cash as you can before this figurative well dries up. This is precisely what Activision has been doing with Skylanders. They want the series to remain in the limelight. They need new toys to keep pumping out so kids, collectors, and parents keep buying them and buying them. For someone who's invested in Skylanders as a game series, I imagine they would see this as sort of scum and insulting. I know if I kept up with the series only to see its creators pumping out sequel after sequel every year, it'd get pretty tiring. Even um, okay, I gotta I gotta agree and disagree at the same time. Of course, Activision knows that this is something that is going well for them, and they're going to continue it. Yes, but nobody was saying anything about Disney Infinity or Lego Dimensions or Amiibos. So, and they're pumping out figurines like. They released Amiibos for characters for Mario Party. Like, I have the Waluigi one because I love Waluigi, but, like, what did that have to do with anything? But regardless... Even though I'm not a fan of the series, this still bugs me. This sort of greedy behavior rooted in Skylanders is like a tumor in the gaming industry. It paves the way for other developers to follow in Skylanders footsteps and lose any emotional attachment to their product by creating a hollow shell for the sake of making money and money alone. That even- Uh, I gotta disagree with him there. No. Skylanders has a lot of depth within the story. And I know a couple of you may disagree with me with that, but in my opinion, I feel like all six games do have a pretty good story. I mean, the sixth game that kind of went off the radar when they had to do that random cake mission, but I don't feel like Skylanders is a shell because they work on the game ahead of time. So, you know, when they release, say, game three, game four is already in the works. And supposedly there's a lot of involved with that, so I gotta disagree with them on that part. And brings into question the whole gimmick of Skylanders that bothers me. It's the entire toys to life concept. Before you use the argument that I'm a large proprietor of Amiibo and thus my argument for disliking Skylanders toys is invalid, yep. you should know that I stopped collecting them some time ago. I only really- Wow, congratulations. You just admitted that you collected the toys and you love them, but then you just don't collect them anymore? That's kind of hypocritical right there invested in Amiibo because Nintendo successfully tugged at my nostalgia for their classic characters. There were times I purchased Amiibo for their in-game effects, but those cases were few and far between. As much as I like them, I'll admit they add nothing substantial to one's gaming experience. Skylanders toys are about as pointless as Amiibo, but even more worthless. I for one- So that's a huge lie. Um, they're not worthless. I mean, for God's sake, it's nice to have the figurines. You can collect them. Kids play as the figurines, play with figurines all the time, not even just in-game. So, I mean, like, all my figurines are not worthless. Like, I don't like that. That's one thing I don't appreciate him saying. Um, every single one of my figurines I have there, I've leveled up. There's a little chip inside of them that has my character from the beginning. There's nothing useless about that. If not, I'd have all these little memory cards that I have no clue who who is on it and everything like that. So now, like, I can grab my zap that's up there, and that's my zap that I got up to level 10 in the original game with all those upgrades, and no one can take that away from me. So I gotta fully disagree with him in that part. I could not care about any of these characters you see on screen now. I don't think I can even recognize a single creature. Look at any box art for Skylanders and you'll know what I'm talking about. What's even the purpose of collecting these figures if they mean almost nothing? You could argue they get their meaning from the games they're featured in, exactly. but riddle me this, contrarian, what is a unique characteristic of a Skylander called Slam Bam? Better yet, what does the Skylander War Navy look like please if you're tornado is the turtle that is uh, spins on a shell he has a tornado underneath him he is an air skylander he had released in series one came up with a light core variant in season three slam bam has a lot of uh, of a lot of your unique characteristics about him he's got four arms he uses extreme power to use that he has a surfboarder or snow snowboarder sorry and he has an ice shoot ability where he shoots the ground ice comes up and he could freeze the enemies bam Hadox, get wrecked boy
We're going to make the argument that all the Skylanders are distinct and special, be able to at least recognize them all. See, the Skylanders lack charm and are just husks of lost potential. If there were a few Skylanders with actual simplistic character development, perhaps I wouldn't be here saying that every Skylander is generic and boring. Furthermore, the fact that- How is every Skylander generic and boring? Every single Skylander that's out there are not the same as the other one. There's a couple that have similar moves, yes, but not every single Skylander is the same. I have over 200 Skylanders, and I can't name two out of the top of my head that's similar. There's some with hammers, yeah, but most of them are not like that. There is not another Skylander like Bash, okay? that Activision keeps birthing these abominations only makes the Skylanders characters more unimaginative and lifeless. Additionally, just to play a Skylanders game requires you to have some of these toys, which are then magically morphed into the game world. This means you have to keep these worthless pieces of trash around, and it even incentivizes you to buy more figures that unlock more and cool Skylanders content. Spoiler alert, these figures add almost nothing to the games, just the ability to play as different flat characters that ultimately don't change anything about the gameplay. That begs the question as to why- The thing is, is I can agree with that, that you can beat the entire game with just one figure, I beat it with just Bash, but if you want the full effect, you can use other characters and things like that. Now, there are some games I can agree, like Trap Masters for example, that for some reason they released the core figurines and the minis, and the minis really- and the cores and minis had nothing to do in the game. You could have beat the entire game, like 100% with just trap masters so that was one thing i i can kind of agree with some of them don't bring aesthetic to the game but i mean there's no possible way and it took me a lot of tries to beat chaos on the first in the first game with just one figurine and you're buying the game it comes with figures anyways you the figures that come with the game you can beat the entire game with those figures so why Activision even created this toys to life genre in the first place if the toys do almost nothing worthwhile to modify the content of the game. It just seems like another way to trick kids and collectors into buying more of their Skylanders junk. I guess I can see the appeal for those who enjoy collecting them just for the sake of collecting them, mm -hmm. but personally it's a very greedy business practice and one that makes me hate Skylanders as a whole. As for the kids that are drawn into buying them, they're definitely getting screwed over. Not only do I hate the concept of Skylanders, I also don't enjoy the recent games. For the Okay, before we continue with that one, the kids don't know the difference. They're not going in and being like, oh, I'm collecting these figures that's gonna get dust. Of course, they're gonna grow up eventually and Skylanders is gonna die off for them. And that's the honest truth. I recently bought a couple of figures from a person in town. Her son isn't into it anymore. I took advantage of it. I got Dark Wildfire now. He's still on my desk. <laughs> I haven't even played with him yet. But, like, I understand what he means by that, is that kids don't know the difference, but it's true. Kids don't know the difference. Kids don't care. Kids are going to buy these figurines. They're going to get their parents and their grandparents and their friends and everybody to buy these figurines. They're going to play as them, and they're going to have a great time with it. It doesn't matter if it's going to last a week or anything like that. They spent $10, $15, depending on what it is, on something that they knew they're going to enjoy. That's all that matters for this. Kids don't know the difference. Who cares? this video, I put myself through the torture of playing all five Skylanders installments for at least three hours to get a taste of each game. Apart from that, I've never truly finished a Skylanders game or played one for more than an hour aside from Spyro's Adventure, of course. So he's ranting about the games before he hadn't actually played them. Classic! Classic part! See, everybody who bashes Skylanders has never played it. That's all I gotta say. So now we're gonna see what he says after he started playing it. So we'll see now. Skylanders Spyro's Adventure totally. is a game that I abhor based on its principle and its effect on the Spyro series. Removing that bias, Spyro's Adventure is actually not that terrible. I would even dare to say it's okay. The game's nothing special and it's not revolutionary and it doesn't do too much to stand out from the abundance of collectathons I've played in my life. 
Mm. Like, I don't know, Spyro 1, 2, and 3, and so on. Nevertheless, I would be lying if I said I didn't get any enjoyment out of it. Then there's Skylanders Giants, which is about as stale as expired crackers and the Pokemon franchise. I kid, I kid, I kid. But I'm not kidding when I say Giants is pretty boring and not fun. Gameplay. Okay, he almost just personally attacked me then because he said Skylanders and Pokemon and the same thing and said it was bland. Um, Giants, yes, it doesn't bring a lot of anything new to the game. Like, they brought the Giants and stuff into new gameplay, but uh, I can't disagree with them, so let's just see what else he got to say. Play is mundane. The plot isn't compelling at all, and nothing got me engaged in actually playing it. Unlike Spyro's Adventure, there was no drive to keep playing other than the fact that I had to. Giants is simply not enjoyable, and I guess I should have seen it as a bad omen for things to come because Skylander's Swap Force is actually much better. Mm -hmm. See, I just pranked you all. I'm sure you all expected me to hate Swap Force, but this yeah. is actually the best one purely because the figures did something new. This time, you could switch out body parts and create custom creatures along with different abilities to optimize your Skylander. Sure, the rest of the game is kind of the same as before, but at least it tried something different. At least characters are somewhat distinct. Trap Team, on the other hand, is very dull, lacking any sort of originality. This is about where the fatigue of Skylanders began to settle in. My body began to physically reject any more Skylanders than I already had ingested. It was too much for one person to handle, so I had to stop around the two hour mark because of how monotonous it was. Traps don't even add much of anything to the gameplay, so I don't even know why Activision decided it should exist. It's traps. Well, villains with traps have saved me so much in the game when, like, I'm playing Nightmare Mode, for example. It's so easy to switch out to the villain, and the villain can take a bunch of hits before you can throw out and go with the next one. But yeah, continue on with what you're saying, how this is, didn't change the game. You're telling me that before that... You, could, you never thought about taking this little crystal, putting it on the portal, and being able to take someone in the game that you just defeated and put them into the thing. It's really cool that they send it through and they talk to you through the machine. Like, you can't make that up. Like, that's cool, okay? It's almost like they were running out of ideas, which is evident in Skylander's Superchargers. My favorite game. Taking inspiration, or as I like to call it, copying, from Mario Kart, Garfield Kart, and Sega All-Stars Racing, Kart? Superchargers is not your traditional generic platformer, but rather it's a kart racer infused with gimmicky platforming sections. This one's not too thrilling, so I kinda just powered through my three hours, which was a slog, mind you. All in all, every Skylanders game seem to He barely said anything about superchargers. He just said it's just a Mario Kart ripoff. No, it isn't. Um, it's got a fun element to it. It's like playing Mario Kart mixed with Mario in it. It's like you're taking Super Mario 64 and putting Mario Kart within it. That's what's cool about Superchargers, is it's two games in one. You can play the whole racing segment and you'll love it, and then you play the jumping segment with the platforming and all that stuff, and it's awesome. He didn't say nothing about it. He played three the five games for three hours, and he gave nothing out of it. Out of that whole review, he loved two of them. Well, not love, but he liked them. He liked the first one and Swap Force, which anyone who plays Swap Force would like it. That's the truth. Of course, anyone would play Swap Force and find it cool. Taking two figurines, ripping them apart, and putting them together as a second one, that's cool. Superchargers is, is the best game in them all. Like, I, I can defend that. I can make a whole video about it if you wanted me to. I'm not going to, but I could. Defending why Superchargers is the best game of all of them, because it's two games in one. But, like, I didn't like that. I didn't like how he said that. He's bashing the games, but he's never actually even, like, fully played through them all. He's never got to play the whole experience. He only got to play as the character from the starter pack from what I see in the videos. <gasps> Anyways. Meshed together, creating one glob of mediocre, unchallenging, boring platformers that exploit the toys-to-life concept. I couldn't find much enjoyment out of the series, and it wasn't just due to the fact that I hate the toys, what they did to Spyro, the annual releases, the declining quality of games, the greed, and so on. My hatred of the franchise is a culmination of all these aspects, but mainly it's because of what the series has become. A dead horse for a selfish 
corporation to beat money out of until it decomposes. And that's sort of funny considering that Activision has said that Skylanders has not met their expectations in terms of sales for the last two games. So maybe soon we'll see an end to Skylanders. Maybe then Spyro will be released from his shackles and the toy to life business model will rightfully disappear. One can dream, friends. One can dream. But as always, if you disagree or agree with me, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. All right, so we reached the end of the video. I can tell you that, yes, he does have a lot of good points. I paused the video and talked about those points and all that. But there's a lot of stuff I got to disagree with. Um, first of all, he really worked on this video. I give him that. He came in not just being like, Skylanders is stupid because I grew up with Spyro and Spyro is the best character and I ripped out my headphone just then. Um, but, like, I understand where he's coming from with all of it. I fully understand, like, his setup and everything, like, why he doesn't like Skylanders and stuff that. He felt like, just like me, that he ru they ruined Spyro. I grew up with the original Spyro games. I played all three of them. I play Spyro 2, uh, it's the first Spyro, at least seven times a year, which I'll probably play again in a couple of weeks, let's be honest here. But he said that, and I could agree with him. I felt like when it first came out, it did that. But he only played the game for a little bit. My friends who... Because he was talking about how much he hated it, but then he was like, I decided to for the concept of the video to play each game for three hours. That's good. The three-hour mark makes sense. I do that with TV shows. I watch three episodes to see if I like it. And I like that he did that. And then he played the five games, and he liked two of them. He liked the first game, and he liked the third game. But then he started going on about, like, oh, they ruined the franchise when it went up. If he continued to play the game, he would have found something he liked in all of them. I can play any game in the world, and I can find out something I like in it. Because, unlike everybody, I can find the positives of stuff. So, I'm not going to bash Hayduck for, uh, it's, I'm assuming it's Hayduck. I'm assuming, I'm not going to bash him for his hatred for the series. I understand why he made this video, and I'm very happy I watched it, just because it's nice to see other people's opinions on it. But, man, play the games. Like, don't just do a one-off video of the game and be like, yeah, whatever, that's all I need to know. No, actually, play the games. Like, do a full playthrough of the first game. It's a great game. The first game is great. It's Of course, it's got its flaws if you look at the other games. Like, there's no jumping or anything like that. But, like, the first game is, is good. And then, later on, the games get a little better. Yes, Giants is a little bit underwhelming. But every other game after that was pretty good. Everything has something that's amazing with it. So, as I said, I can't disagree with what he's saying, but I can't agree either. So, I want your guys' opinion on this, too. I want you guys... Not to get upset, not to go over this video and type in all those mean comments like what I did with the bash video, with Buddy in his bash video. Um, I just want you guys to give your honest opinion on it too. So I want you guys to agree or disagree. If you guys think Skylarns is dried up, go for it. I mean, they are taking the, they, I ripped my headphone out again. Uh, they did take a year off to make a new game or a mobile game, whatever they're planning on doing, which is interesting to say the least. It's going to be cool to see what happens when that comes out. When is a big question, but uh, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see where they're going to go next in the future and see if they can rebuild the franchise or do you think this might be it? Because who knows, Game 7 or the mobile game that they're doing might be the last Skylander game, and we don't know. But anyways, uh, I'm going to say shout out to Haydock for that, for this video. Um, I'm not upset with it. I mean, I could watch his Skylander Imaginator video, but I just don't. I don't want to do that. I want to stay more positive with the, with you guys. So we're going to watch a lot of cooler videos coming up next. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know. Leave a like and a comment below. Comment your opinion on this video and your opinion versus mine and everything like that. I would really appreciate seeing that. But as always, I bid you farewell.